Hey guys, it's Marla. This is probably groundbreaking news I have to share with you. This is probably one of the best nude lipsticks I have ever tried. And that is saying a lot. I don't know if you're like me, anybody out there, but I have kind of a medium complexion, yellow undertones, a little bit more olive skin, and I'm constantly looking at magazines of models that are wearing nude lips. I then go out to purchase nude lipsticks and for some reason am attracted to beige color lipsticks. I purchase them, I bring them home. A lot of them look like this color. And when I put them on my lips, I then look like the Crypt Keeper. I look like a corpse and I get so disgusted because I want kind of a nude lip, but I don't want to look like all the blood has been sucked out of my body. So I recently tried the Dior Rouge, the Rouge Dior, I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about. Uh, the Rouge Dior Nude Lipsticks. I don't think I am ever gonna wear another lipstick again other than this color. I'm wearing it right now. I have gotten so many compliments on this lipstick. If you've seen me in any of my recent pictures on Visible Monday that I post on my blog, this is the only lipstick that I've been wearing on all those pictures. This is actually the first lipstick that I've actually gone out in public and had people I know ask me what color this lipstick was because it was so pretty. I've never had that before. So this is something I'm probably gonna be wearing for a while and I may not be doing a lot of lipstick reviews as a result of it because unlike some other people, I pretty much, once I am kind of brand loyal with a product, I kind of stick with it. So for right now, Dior has my $32. Um, it's an expensive lipstick, $32. I will pay that. I will pay $50 for this lipstick. I love it that much. It comes in six shades. It's very rich and creamy, kind of balmy-like, um, a little semi-sheer. I have pretty much used this that far down so far, so it's kind of a little disgusting. The Dior name is coming off that was imprinted on it as you can see there. And I'm gonna be going out to get another one of these fairly soon. Great, great color, so creamy on my lips. I have it on right now. The smell, uh, you know, a little bit of a smell, but it's a very pleasant smell for me. I really like it. When it goes on my lips, my lips feel very moisturized. Uh, like I said, the color of this nude, because it's not a brownie, beigey kind of nude, it has a little slight, kind of little pinkish undertones for me, but it's so natural looking. I love this product. I mean, if I could take an ad in the paper right now, I would let everybody know about this. But again, I love the Dior um, new, uh, my color actually is Rouge Dior Nude number 459, and I think you pronounce it Charnel. That's the color that I personally use, but like I said, it comes in six shades. The next time you are at your Dior counter or Sephora and you're looking for an amazing nude color, take a look at these. I would give this 100 stars if I could. Just a fabulous, fabulous lipstick, and this is now my perfect nude. I have finally found my perfect nude shade. So that is it for the review for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you soon. Bye-bye from Marla. Have a good day. Here's the Rouge Dior Nude number 459 in Charnel. And a swatch of that Charnel on my hand. And what it looks like on my face.